Welcome to this video in the Peer Assisted Learning module. My name is Haifa. Today we will go through how to describe it using sterilium gel, and I will use the four step teaching model to explain that. By the end of this video, you should be able to recognize the four step model in skills teaching, demonstrate improved confidence in scrubbing in, and perform scrubbing using the sterile technique. So what are the four steps involved? Step one is demonstration, where I show you the technique without any explanation. Step two is deconstruction, where we break down the different steps in the technique. Step three is comprehension, where you try and understand why we do each step in this sequence. And step four is performance, where it's your turn to try and perform the same skill. Let's start with a demonstration of scrubbing in theatre. Step 2. Let's break down what we just saw in the video. The equipment we will need include surgical scrubs and clogs, which we will change into before going to the scrub room. We also need to put on a scrub cap and a face mask. The glove size can be a bit tricky at first. Those are not your usual small, medium or large gloves. Here is a rough guide of the equivalent sizes, usually ranging from 6 to 10. And you can always ask for help from the SHOs if needed. Most of the gowns available are only in large and XL, but they should fit one's title. A nurse or a doctor will usually put the gowns and gloves onto the table for you using the sterile technique, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, let's watch the video again with the explanation of each step. You should be wearing a scrub cap, face mask, scrubs, and clogs. Here is a poster of how to use the cerium gel as a memory aid. Then turn on the timer mounted in the wall. This is one and a half minutes of hand sanitizing. Take a few pumps of the cerium gel using your elbow. Sanitize your hands following the steps shown on the poster here. This is usually found on the wall in front of the sink. 
Take your time to go between your fingers, to your nails, the thumb, and the palms of your hand. Go all the way up to just before your elbow. This should take about one and a half minutes. Take more of the gel and repeat the hand sanitizing a second and third time. Allow the gel to dry up completely for a few seconds. Then move on to the gowning part. Put your hands into the sleeves found on either side of the gown. Hold the gown and let go of the bottom part. Pull your hands through the sleeves making sure your hands remain within the white ends of the sleeves. Ask your assistant to help you tie up the gown at the back. Moving on to putting on the gloves. This can be a bit tricky at first, as your fingers remain within the sleeves while you do so. Pinch the folded end of the gloves. and try to put your hands through. Do the same on the other side. Can be a bit easier on the other side as you can use your fingers to help you put on the glove. But remember, the white part keeps your fingers into the gown. Hold out the ends of the gloves on the other side. If your fingers end up in the wrong part, you can simply fix it like so. Tie up the gown. Remove the short end of the gown. Tie from the cart. Hold one end of the cart while your assistant holds the other end. Spin around and tie up the gown. Here you are, ready to go to the operating table. Make sure to keep your hands up at chest level while walking there, and put your hands onto the blue dreams, covering the patient once you get to the table. Once the surgery is done, remove the gown by simply untying the gown and ripping it off from the front. Then you throw it into a yellow bin. Take some time now to assimilate what was just explained and remember that the sequence is a such in order to maintain the sterile field. Now it's your turn to try. Feel free to pause the video as many times as you need while practicing. Note that there might be slight differences in the way different doctors scrub in, but the general principle remains the same. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this was useful.